Where are you gonna go with this? I, I'd like to see you try. Come here. Walter, oh my gosh. What are you doing? Give me the plant. Walter. 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 He gets so much stimulation and still he just loves things in his mouth at all times. I just have to keep my head on a swivel. He will pick up anything. Yesterday it was my computer laptop cord that he pulled out of the wall and ran down the hall with. I've seen him like with gigantic boxes that I'll come out and he's like trying to lug them across the yard. Anything that he can pick up and carry around, he will do that. <laughs> Walter. My husband and I would foster dogs through our local rescue. And so we got the call from our rescue saying, would you be open to taking on mama puppies? And I said, absolutely. Walter and his mama and his baby sister came to us. And ironically, at the time, he was the quiet, timid, kind of sheepish one out of the two. His sister was way more of like a crazy maniac and would jump all over and bite everybody. So we thought, oh, this is perfect. So we'll foster fail with this sweet little, you know, calm, timid puppy. Little did we know what was in store for us. A switch flipped. He just was curious, had no fear about anything, did not care about consequences. Loved everybody and wanted to say hi to every dog, but then it was like nonstop play, nonstop chew. What do you have? Are you very proud of yourself? Is that your bone? He would go into our bathrooms and steal rolls. He would take them off the toilet paper holder. And I would find him around the house with these huge rolls of toilet paper just shredded everywhere. Also, shoes. I have sacrificed probably eight or nine pairs of shoes at this point. Walter's redeeming quality is he is a big cuddler. He's a big mama's boy. I call him my Velcro dog because at all times he's attached to my hips. When he's not being a maniac and getting into things, he's sleeping or trying to cuddle. special is his ability to make people laugh with his ridiculous behavior. He is uniquely himself and does not apologize for that. It was Walter's world that we were living in. <laughs> Good boy!